Hey, welcome back, my folks. This is Ajaz Khan here. In this video, in this lecture, you will able to learn assignment problem in steps of Hungarian method procedure as well as one practical problem with complete package. So please watch this video from starting to till end so that you will learn the entire concepts of an assignment problem or transshipment problem. I already explained the theoretical aspect of an assignment problem in my one of the previous videos called an assignment or transshipment for management and engineering students. If you haven't watched my that video, it's my request to watch my this video and learn the theoretical aspect so that you can easily proceed with any of the question of an assignment problem for your end semester examination point of view as well as you may apply the same concept in your business or a marketing supply chain to reduce the this one cost as well as selecting the right candidate for the right job with the less investment with the less investment this is the objective behind uh, an assignment problem my friends so friends what is assignment problem in simple i just highlight an assignment problem because i already explained this with a lot of pictures with a lot of uh, ideas in my previous video my friends right so they, when there are a number of uh, persons a number of jobs are there the question arises what person assigned to what job such type of difficulty such type of problem is called as an assignment problem though the varying degree of efficiency of a person to perform these jobs right so now my focus is to solve one complete set or package of an assignment or transshipment problem today and the question is available on board before that i just want to glance the hungarian steps hungarian method procedure my friends so some basic conditions are there after that the steps of hungarian methods are there so we will follow this condition and steps of hungarian method procedure so that friends we easily proceed in the practical problem with understandable manner very calm, very good, very peaceful, right? So what are those uh, conditions? Friends, the first and prior condition, prepare a cost matrix. Your matrix or your dual matrix must be a cost matrix. It should not be a profit matrix. If it is not a cost matrix, means if it is profit matrix, we convert not cost matrix into a cost matrix or profit matrix into a cost matrix. Now the question arises how to convert it. Very simple my friends. In a given matrix you select the highest element or highest value. Then subtract with other entire element in the matrix. The new matrix is said to be a cost matrix. Right? So this is the procedure to convert your not cost matrix into a cost or profit matrix into a cost matrix. Now, the second this one condition says your matrix should be a square matrix. If it is unsquared matrix, now the question arises here is what is unsquared matrix? Unsquared matrix is a matrix where row is not equal to columns. For example, there are four rows. Row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4. But there are only three columns. Hence, it is not a, this one, balanced. Not a square. You have to convert into a square. You add a dummy column with a zero cost element. 4 row, 4 column, square matrix, 3 rows, 3 columns, square matrix, 5 row, 5 column, square matrix. Are you getting me my friends? So first of all, prepare a cost, cost matrix. 
if it is not cost matrix, convert it into a cost matrix by selecting the highest element in the matrix. The new matrix, what you create or what you prepare, it is cost matrix. Then you check whether rows and columns are equal or not. If it is unequal, convert it to equal by dummy row or dummy column. Whenever it is necessary, you add either dummy row or dummy column by zero cost element. 0, 0, 0, 0 like this. 0, 0, 0, 0 like this. Are you getting me? This is how you have to prepare a cost matrix and your square matrix. These are the basic condition in this. You cannot escape this. You cannot escape this. Compulsorily you have to apply this condition. Then you go with the step number one of Hungarian method procedure. What is this in step number one? You select the smallest element in each row then subtract with other element one by one row wise. Suppose there are four rows. Row one, row two, row three, row four. Select first row first and find out the smallest element. Then subtract with other element. Okay? It is nothing but row one successfully completed. Likewise row two. Select the smallest element in the row two. Then subtract with other elements in the row two. Specific row. Likewise third row, fourth row. Right? This is step number one. Successfully completed. Now coming to step number two. What is step number two? Step number two is all about select the smallest element in each column now. Then subtract with other element one by one row wise, C row wise. Very beautifully it is written. Right? So first row, select the first row, smallest element in the first row, then subtract with other element in the specific row itself. It is nothing but row 1 successfully completed. Likewise, suppose there are 4 rows. You complete first row first, second row next, third row next, and the last fourth row. See, 2 steps completed. Now, the third step of Hungarian method procedure is you draw a minimum number of lines. You, in the sense, we draw a minimum number of lines. See, see what I am saying, what the steps is. Draw minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros horizontally or vertically. Horizontally like this, vertically like this. We have to cover uh, zeros. You could find some zeros in the matrix, my friend. So you have to cover those zeros by your this one thinking capacity. You have to try to try your level best to cover all the zeros, all the zeros. There should not be any zero remain in the matrix. So this is what the step number three. After doing this step, my friends, you have to compare whether your capital N is equals to small n. If it is unequal, so now I tell you what is this capital N. Friends, capital N means the number of lines you draw. Number of lines you draw equals to your capital N. Now what is small n? Small n means your order matrix. What is this order matrix? Your matrix. For example, suppose there are four rows and four columns in your question. Okay, your matrix. Your order matrix is said to be four. In case five row, five column, your order matrix is said to be five. In case six row, six column, your order matrix is said to be six. Are you getting me? So, Capital N means number of lines drawn, small n means the order matrix. Until unless your number of line drawn equals to the order matrix, you proceed. It is nothing but the looping process. I tell you, in case, suppose, number of lines drawn 4 and your order matrix is 5. It is unequal. 4 is not equal to 5. Capital N is not equal to small n. Hence, we have to proceed with next step. Next step. What is that next step in this uh, uh, this one situation? The next step is select the smallest uncovered element and subtract with other uncovered element. Add to the intersection point. See, my friends, wherever you draw a line or lines. The remaining elements in the matrix is said to be an uncovered element where there is no line drawn. Try to understand this step number. Next, 
whatever it could be the number, it varies. Question to question. Select the smallest uncovered element and subtract with other uncovered element itself and add to the intersection point. Initially, select the smallest uncovered element. We could find few elements, few numbers in the matrix where there is no line drawn. And we subtract with other uncovered element. And wherever we find intersection point, okay, horizontal and vertical line for a specific element or elements, we add that smallest uncovered element. And wherever the line has drawn, okay, we keep as it is. This is what the step number next. Right? Select the smallest uncovered element and add to the intersection point. The line drawn you keep as it is. Right? For example, next, you got new matrix. So again, in the new matrix or on the new matrix, what you do is, you again draw minimum number of line to cover all the zeros horizontally or vertically. It's left on new matrix. If you want, you go with the vertical order, otherwise horizontal order, order otherwise both horizontal and vertical. It's left on you. Right? The objective behind an assignment problem is the assignment cost will be minimum. Okay, job assignment cost will be minimum of friends. Correct? Uh, now, after doing these all steps, if, if case I am telling you, if your number of line rods equals to the odd matrix, you stop that step. You select a row with single zero and make an assignment in such a way that no other job should be assigned. You, you find a row with single zero, you have to check it out in case of four rows are there. Okay, I am considering four rows for all examples. For example, there are four rows and in first row there are two zeros, in second row there are three zeros, in fourth row there is one zero, in fifth row and there is another one zero. You neglect first row, second row, third and fourth. First preference goes to third row, you assign that. You assign that by cross mark, then above any zeros you cancel it and below zeros you have to cancel it, right side, left side, Okay, besides zeros, you must cancel. So likewise, you again process, again come from first row, second row, third row, fourth row. Likewise, you make an assignment in a such a way that no other job should be assigned in that particular row. So this is the way you have to follow the Hungarian method procedure, my friends. So finally, wherever you assign, the same assignment you make in the question, zeros, zeros. So this is all about the Hungarian method procedure, my friends. If you have any doubt, any inquiry in the steps of Hungarian method procedure, you feel free to comment in the comment session. I will read usually all the this one responses of my viewers so that you will able to perfect enough in your operations, research or business mathematical area, my friends. So this is all about Hungarian method procedure of your research study. Now we'll proceed with a problem, one particular problem which is written on board. I'll complete this question. Then we'll proceed with all steps, whatever I explained in this video. The same step I'm applying here to solve this particular problem and at the end we assign. We find out both optimal job assignment and the cost of assignment. Very important in this question, right? So, well, friends, now we will proceed with one of the questions I said already. I will solve this problem by an assignment problem, Hungarian method procedure, my friends. So, let us proceed with Hungarian method procedure. So, first of all, I read out the question. Using the following cost matrix, friends, the given matrix is cost matrix already. It is cost matrix, and we have to determine the means. Find out 
so we find optimal job assignment and the cost of an assignment. So two different things we have to find out from the given matrix. This matrix is already cost matrix. The numbers whatever given in this matrix, it is nothing but the entire matrix is cost matrix, not matrix. Right? So one side we have, see, this is row side. So how many rows are there? There are five rows. Row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4 and row 5. Likewise, there are five columns. Column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4 and column 5. So it is squared matrix. Already a cost matrix, already a squared matrix. No need to convert into a cost because it is already in cost and no need to make it square no need to add any dummy row or dummy column to make it square because it is already square matrix so already two condition fulfilled it is very very easy question to proceed further my friends so the next the first steps i move forward is step number one what is this step number one Step number one is very simple. Select smallest, smallest, select the smallest element, smallest element in each row, each row and subtract in each row and subtract with other elements. One by one a row wise. A row wise. This is the step number one. Select the smallest element in each row and subtract. Subtract means minus data. With other elements, elements, not element. We have to select smallest element here and elements. One element and Subtraction with multiple elements in that specific row or first row, second row, third row, fourth row. Okay, it depends upon the number of rows given in the question. In this question, there are five different rows. So, likewise, we'll proceed. Okay, I won't write your job and I can explain that you follow this matrix. Okay, this is what our matrix is all about. Fine. Now, see my friends. 1, 3, 3, 2, 8. You tell me which is the least one. So, the least value is 1, my friends. You can see here the least, the smallest one is 1. Now, we will proceed with this. Right. Fine. Now, select the smallest element in each row. The first row, smallest element is 1. I have selected one and subtracted other elements. So these are the other elements. Okay, let us try this. The first one minus one, zero. Three minus one, it is two. Three minus one, again it is two. Two minus one, it is one. And eight minus one, it is seven minus. So this is a row one successfully completed. See here, one by one row wise. It is not completed here. Only row one completed. Next one is row two matrix. See, if I select this row, now I need to select the smallest element. So smallest element is two matrix and subtract with other elements. So ten minus two, friends, it is eight. Seven minus two, it is five matrix. Eight minus two, six. 2 minus 2, 0. 7 minus 2, 5, my friends. So likewise, the next row says, the smallest element is 2, my friends. So 4 minus 2, 2. 5 minus 2, 3. 6 minus 2, 4. 2 minus 2, 0. 4 minus 2, it is 2. 3 rows completed successfully. The next, this one, row is, here, right now, here we select 3, 
by a two four. Two is the least part, guys. So three minus two, it is one, right? Five minus two, it is three. Eight minus two, six. Two minus two, zero, my friends. So four minus two, two, my friends. So this is what row four, the last row. The last row least value is six, my friends. See nine, ten, nine, six, ten. So least value is six. So nine minus six, three. Ten minus six, four. Nine minus six, three. Six minus six, zero. Ten minus six, it is four, my friends. So this is how we follow the step number one of Hungarian method procedure after condition number one and condition number two. What is the condition number one? You have to prepare a square matrix and your square matrix, uh, sorry, cost matrix. Your cost matrix must be a square matrix. After that, you follow the step number one, right? This is step number one, like this, you complete. Next up, step number two, you have to follow. Right? What is this step number two? So I write here step number two. Step number two. The step number two is similar as it is step number one, but instead of row, I just write column C. Simple. Select smallest element. This is step, step number two. Select smallest element in each C here. Instead of row, I just write column. Each column I subtract and subtract with other elements one by one column wise. Come on, right? So this is how. Next, I'll move further to the matrix. Same. Okay, this is the size of our matrix. Now it's time to look after the columns. You know, if there are four, sorry, five rows, there are five columns. So this is column number one, two, three, four, and five. So likewise, we do our operation. The first column is this one. The first column is having zero matrix. Wherever you find zero in any of the column or row, you just copy the row. You just copy the row column. If you proceed with your calculation, you get the same value. Instead of wasting your time, stay away. You copy the same column. Here I am finding the zero. Okay, let us calculate. The smallest element is zero matrix. Okay, for your purpose. Confirmation I am doing this. Here in this row, we have one zero. This is the smallest one. Now I will proceed with subtraction of other elements. So zero minus zero is zero matrix. So eight minus zero is eight matrix. Two minus zero, two. One minus zero, one. Three minus zero. Three. Same. Zero eight two one three. Zero eight two one three. Same. So instead of calculating, please, okay, carefully watch the numbers and copy it in your new matrix. So this is what the uh, this one step of uh, selection: smallest element in each column and subtracting with other elements one by one or otherwise. Right. Now the second column. See here we couldn't find zero, right? There is no zero. We have to find out the least value. So according to me, see here two is the least. Two, five, three, three, four. So these are the bigger number. So the smallest one is two. Fine. Now two minus two equals to zero. Five minus two, three, my friends. So three minus two, it is one, my friend. Three minus two, one. And four minus two, it is two. Column two successfully completed. Don't worry, it all successfully completed. Next, coming to column number three. Now you tell me which is the least. Two, six, four, six, three. So again, two is the least. Two minus two, zero. Six minus two, 
4. 4 minus 2, 2 my friends. 6 minus 2, 4. 3 minus 2, 1. See, very simple. Very simple. The same for the next row. And now, see here. 1, 0 or multiple zeros. Copy and paste. So, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0 and 0, my friends. Now, next the last column we have to do. The last column calculation says the smallest one is 2. And there are two groups, okay? 2 means 2. 2 is equal to 2. 2 is not uh, this one greater than 2 or not uh, less than 2. 2 is equal to 2. E2, okay? I'll, I'll go with this 2. Okay? 7 minus 2 equals to 5. So 5 minus 2 equals to 3, my friends. 0, 2 minus 2, 0, 2 minus 2, 0, 4 minus 2, it is 2. So this is the completion of step number 1 and step number 2. Step number 1 very simple, select the smallest element in each row and subtract with other element one by one row wise. So we have done this here. The second step says select the smallest uh, this one element in each column and subtract with other element one by one column wise and this is done here. Step number 1, step number 2 and it is already fulfilled the condition question. Already cost as well as square. Okay, what is the automatics here? 5 rows, 5 column means what is the automatics? The automatics is 5. Your small n equals to 5 there. Right? Now, now coming to step number 3, friends. So please have a careful look to understand step number 3 here. So what is this step number 3? Draw in the first modified matrix. Okay, I'll write on the first modified matrix. On the first modify matrix ok this is what the first modify matrix was on the, on the first modify matrix draw a minimum draw a minimum number of lines number of lines to cover to cover all the zeros horizontally or vertically horizontally or vertically my friends ok I will copy this to, the, to do this again we have to copy the previous address Okay, please copy the number. Please help me out. 0, 0, 0, 1, 5, 8, 3, 4, 0, 3, 2, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 0, 0. 3, 2, 1, 0 and 2. So, I copied this but I am following step number 3. I copied this here but I am following step number 3. For step number 3 you have to copy the previous matrix. So, this is our previous matrix. Don't take this matrix or that matrix. Fine? Okay. Now, according to this step number 3 will follow. Draw a minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros, horizontally or vertically. See my friends, there is no word for maximum lines. There is word for minimum line in the statement. You know the minimum, less, least numbers, right? So we have to draw minimum number of lines. It's not easy task to draw a minimum number of lines. Your presence of mind is important, my friends. Otherwise, your problem will be wrong. If you want to make your problem correct, please pay your attention here in step number 3 of Hungarian method procedure. Once you draw the minimum number of lines, definitely your problem will be accurate. Correct? So, it is a task. It is an important task. If you want, you spend one minute 
to look into a matrix so that you will able to draw minimum number of lines. You have to try. Not only try, you have to try, try. Try, try and try. Try again and again and again and again until unless you get the success. That is what the try required here is all about. Right? We draw minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros horizontally, vertically. You know, this is nothing but horizontal. Right? Horizontal way. Vertical means like this. Column. Okay, like this. So, it's left on you how you draw. It doesn't mean that the same whatever I am drawing on board, you follow the same. No. I am drawing according to me. Maybe horizontal way or maybe vertical way, but I am trying my level best. Right. You also try your level best to me to draw minimum number of line to cover all the zeros. Right. Now let us draw the lines. See my friends, in first row, you know how many zeros are there? There are three zero. If I draw my line here, I cover three zeros. If I draw like this, I cover only one zero because only one zero is available in this row. If I draw in this third row, I cover three, sorry, two zeros. Fourth row, two zeros. Fifth row, only one zero. So likewise, if I select this column, I draw line here, I cover one zero. I cover one zero. I cover one zero. See, if I draw in the fourth column, friends, I am covering here four zeros. Four maximum zero I am covering. If I draw here in the last column, I am covering two zero. So my first preference goes to fourth column. So fourth column is drawn, exhausted. So now the next I give my preference to this. I am covering how many zeros? Three zeros. So likewise, the remaining I will draw here. See, if I draw in the row three, I again draw in row four. Unnecessary, I am drawing two lines. Instead, I can draw column number five. In one line, I can cover two zeros. So this is what our try. We have to try, try again again and again by our involvement and focus of drawing a line. So what this step number 3 says, draw minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros horizontally and vertically. I won't draw like this, I draw like this. So see, how many this one line I have drawn? I tried my level this and I have drawn 3 lines. So these are the 3 minimum number of lines. I draw on this modified matrix 1. Now let's check the number of line drawn 1, 2, 3. So this capital N means number of lines drawn. Number of lines drawn equals to capital N. Capital N denoted by number of line drawn on the matrix 3. You know automatrix, I already explained you what is automatrix number of column equals to number of rows. So 5 rows, 5 column, automatic is 5. So small n is denoted by automatic, it is 5. It is 5 and your n is lesser than n. Number of lines drawn lesser than the automatic. Hence, hence, proceed with next step. Proceed with next step. Next step. Step, my friends. So, what is next steps? 3 plus 1. Step number 4, my friends. So, this is our step number 4. So, what is this step number 4 is all about? Right? Fine. Now, I write. From the modified matrix, select smallest, smallest 
uncovered element and subtract subtract with other uncovered element i add to the enter section point of points okay it's left of the matrix carefully read the step number 4 from the modified matrix this is new matrix or modified matrix select smallest uncovered element now the question arises which element is called as smallest uncovered element please have a look here this is covered elements so elements on whom line drawn called as covered element the element where there is no line drawn called uncovered element so these are the uncovered element a t 4 2 1 1 1 4 3 2 1 these are uncovered element on whom the lines not a draw so other elements is 0 0 1 5 0 3 0 0 0 0 2 these are the covered element where line has draw line has draw right now according to this statement select smallest uncovered element so smallest uncovered element is obviously one is the smallest no doubt there are multiple box do not worry select any of the one select any of the one one is one one right So this is smallest uncovered element in the matrix. So select the smallest uncovered element. I will subtract. Subtract means minus. Subtract means minus with other uncovered element. So this is the smallest uncovered element and other uncovered element. This one will be detected among other uncovered elements. I'll do the practical here. Don't worry. Just I'll explain what is this step number four is all about. Right. So subtract with other uncovered element. It should be elements. Okay. I add. See, subtract minus. I am here. This add to whom? Add to the intersection point. So intersection point of points. You might get one point, or you might get more than one point. Points. Right. More than one means points. So intersection point. See, such type of cross line drawn on a particular element is called as. intersection point my friends in this matrix see one is intersection one is intersection and five is intersect so there are two intersection point so here we need to add our smallest element two plus so one plus one equals to five plus one equals to six okay i'll explain in practical way so this is all about the step number four select the smallest uncovered element and subtract with other uncovered element add to the intersection Point intersection point wherever there is just line drawn keep as it is copy paste wherever as it is so wherever line just line drawn keep as it is my friends okay fine now let's proceed this is our matrix okay find square matrix okay see I'll go by column the first column. Zero. Just line drawn till one, two, three. Just line drawn as it is. Just line drawn as it is. Just line drawn as it is. So this is intersection point. Add to the intersection points. Smallest element will be added. Will be added one plus one equals two. Two my friends. Intersection point one. Smallest uncovered element will be added. Five plus one equals two. Six my friends. Correct. So likewise, eight is small uncovered element. Eight counts. Eight counts under other uncovered element. Eight minus one equals two. Seven my friends. Three minus one equals two. Two my friends. Four minus one equals two. Three. So this is just line drawn. Keep as it is. Keep as it is. Zero and three as it is. So next we have two. Two minus one is one. One minus. Sorry. First line drawn. Second is this. Yes, this one. So one minus one is. Zero, two minus one is one, my friends. So zero as it is, zero as it is, right? Next, one minus one, zero, one minus one, zero, four minus one, three. Just like that, 
three same same element. Okay, next up, three minus one equals two. Two my friends, two minus one equals two. One one minus one equals two zero. Zero keep as it is. Two keep as it is because it is just like round element. Fine, none. We got the new new modified matrix. New modified matrix. Okay, I think you understood. Then five steps of uh, step number four. Hungarian method procedure. Okay, select smallest uncovered element. Okay, there are four twos. Any two? Sorry, there are four ones. Any one one? You have to select and subtract with other uncovered element and add to the intersection point wherever line drawn as it is. Keep the same number. Okay, copy and paste. So this is all about. Step number four. Now moving further with the step number next, four plus one equals two. Step number five. I'll proceed here. Okay. I love this step number one. So we'll proceed with step number next. It is step number five. What step number five says? What step number five says? I write step number five first. Step five. Again. Draw a minimum number of line a number of lines to cover all the zeros horizontal or what what we call We are this. Okay. Now I'll copy this. I'll copy this. Please help me out in numbers and pay your attention. So zero seven one zero two zero two zero zero one zero three. One three zero two zero 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 and zero six three zero zero and two my friends. So I have copied this matrix. Okay, this is the previous matrix. Means this matrix you have to copy for next step. Step four and step number five. Okay, now we draw minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros horizontally and vertically. Again, now again we draw minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros horizontal or vertical way or ways, my friends. So please have a careful look. This is second. This one loop first and has been proceeded in the next step, step number five. Okay, my friends, see. Now the drawing process already explained. So where I am getting the maximum zero? So we have to try. See, I am getting maximum zero here. I am getting four zeros. I draw here. Five. Next, I am getting the. If I draw two zeros here, three. Here, three. Here, this one one. I draw here. Okay, I cover two. Then. It's it's not possible to draw here. Okay, see if I draw like this one, one and one, one, two, three. See, I'll try a level just to draw. I draw here. I cover two. If I draw here, I cover three, my friends. So I already covered three. So. Now, if I draw like this one, like this two, I draw here, I cover two, okay, and this is the real. You have to draw vertical or horizontal. So I draw vertical to cancel this. See, there is no the zero remain. So what about here? Capital N. So capital N equals to one, two, three, four, and five. Capital N equals to five, and small n equals to five. So n is equal to n n. N equals to n. Number of line point equals to the order of apex, my friends. Okay, we'll stop here. We'll stop here. We should not proceed further for next to you because our n is equal to n. 
number of lines drawn equals to the order matrix, my friends. Now it's time to make an assignment. Assignment, I'll proceed. Making assignment here. I love this. Step number two, my friends. Step number two. To get the space, right? Fine. Okay. We'll proceed further, right? Step number six. So this is the step number six, my friends. Six, my friends. So what is step number six? Here, here, n equals to n. Hence, hence, make an assignment. Make an assignment in a such a way that such a way that no other no other job should be assigned hence make an assignment in such a way that no other job should be assigned The next step is step number six, my friends. Here, n equals to n. Number of line drawn equals to the order matrix. Hence, hence, we hence proceed. Proceed to make an assignment. Select a row with single zero, single zero, and make an assignment in a such a way that. No other job should be assigned. No, no other job should be assigned. Are you getting me? This is not nothing but the step number six, my friends. Please have very careful to understand the step number six here already. Any question? Any? Our n equals to n, the order matrix equals to, sorry, the number of line drawn equals to the order matrix. Hence, we proceed to make an assignment. So, how to make an assignment? For that, we select a row. Select a row with single zero. From this previous matrix, we select a row with single zero and make an assignment in such a way that no other job should be assigned. Select a row with single zero and make an assignment in such a way that no other job should be assigned in that particular row. So how to proceed? Don't worry, do not be confused. I'll explain you in detail. Don't worry, you will understand. You will understand after looking my exam. Okay, now please uh, take your previous matrix. So this is our matrix. Okay, previous one is this one. So I will take 0, 0, 0, 2, and 6. 7, 2, 3, 0, 3, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, 0, and 2. I just copied it. Now I apply this step number 6. Select a row with single zero and make an assignment in such a way that no other job should be assigned. No, I have to select a single zero. See, there is no single zero here. Yes.
single zero. Three zero give it single zero. Okay, make an assignment. Make an assignment. And no other job should be assigned. Okay, decide. Okay, right side, left side. Is there any zero? You could not find any zero on the right and left side. Check it out. Upper side and middle side. Okay, upper one, lower side. So above there is one zero. Okay, good. Sorry, two. And below there are three zeros. Please cancel these three zeros. If you cancel this three zeros, this is successfully completed. Now again you have to check single zero. In any row you are getting single zero. This is zero. Sorry, row. You don't have single zero. Three zeros given. This is gone case. Exhausted given. Here you are getting two zeros, three zeros, and one zero. Two zeros given. Three zeros given. One zero. Make an assignment. Okay, right side, left side. Okay, there, there are no zeros. Above side, yes, there is a zero. Cancel this zero, my friends. Okay, this is gone case. Fine. Fine. Now, again you check here. Two zeros, gone case. Two zeros, two zeros, and one zero. You are not getting single zero. So what to do? Select a row with single zero. The question marks. In this situation, you look after the question. Okay. Two zeros, two zeros, and three zeros. Leave over these three zeros. Here there are two zeros, and here there are two zeros. Okay. The value of these zeros. This is one, and this is three. This is one, and this is three. And for these zeros, row three. This is five, and this is four, my friends. So which one is the least? One, three. One three for these zeros, and for these zeros it is five and five and four. So first one is the least. This is one, this is three, and this is the uh, five, and this is four. So assign for this. Those are not getting single zero. You have to compare like this. The least zero will be assigned. Other zero will be deleted. Okay, right side, left side. Okay, exhausted. Cancel. Okay, below side. Okay, this side cancel zeros and this side cancel zeros. Now again to check which single zero can be assigned in such a way that no other job should be assigned. See, exhausted, exhausted. And here you are getting two zeros and two zeros. So which zero should be assigned? Further again you have to check. This is five and this one is four. Here. Five and this one is four. Okay, this one is five and this one is four. So this four, four, five, five. You assign it for. Okay, four and four. The first difference goes to first zero. So make an assignment. Make an assignment. Above zero will be cancelled. Below zero, zero will be cancelled. Right side, left side, zero will be cancelled. Okay, now find out the single zero. So this is single zero. See one row. One assignment, second row assignment, third row assignment, fourth row assignment, fifth row assignment. One assignment, one assignment, one assignment, one assignment, one assignment. This is one assignment. There shouldn't be two assignments in the one row. This is the technique. If you are not getting this technique, please pause this video, go back and watch it again. Watch it once, twice, thrice until unless you understood, right? Fine. This is what. The assignment procedure it is little bit complicated, so please pay your attention. Go back and learn it. Learning is very important. If you learn yourself, you definitely learn your friends. Okay? When you don't have two, sorry, single zero, when you get multiple zeros, you do this comparative study like this. Whatever I have done for this question, similarly you do the same and get your assignment. This is the right assignment because one row, one assignment. Second row, only one assignment. Third, only one assignment. Fourth, row, only one assignment. Fifth, row, only one assignment. So, correct. The problem is hundred percent correct. Otherwise, you'll get more multiple assignment in particular row. Absolutely correct. So this is the right way of assignment. Okay, two different techniques are applied here. Whenever you find a single zero, same for assignment procedure. If you're not getting single zero according to the statement, you apply the comparison, compare, compare this study and done it like this. Alright, so which are those assignments? See, now we have to find out the cost. Okay, I rub and write the assignments. So I rub this step number three to find out the 
cost. So how to find out the cost is also very important. So I explain once. For further question, you have to do it, right? Fine. Now how will find total cost. So how to find cost to write the heading? Determination of total cost TC. Right. See my friends. So we need to prepare same three columns. Likewise, we prepare in transportation problem the similar pattern we follow here. See, the condition here is first you need to write job. In any condition, wherever it could be, horizontal side or vertical side. The first comes job. And the second one is really important. It could be, it may be machine, it may be employee, it may be worker, it may be mechanic. According to this question, here it is mechanic. So mechanic and uh, last column, you know, the cost. Fine. Now the first assignment is job one. So job one, mechanic A, cost is one. Cost is one. Very simple. The next one is job four. Job four, mechanic B, cost is two. Likewise, job five, job five, mechanic C, mechanic C, and the cost is four. The next one is job two, mechanic B, mechanic B, and the cost is five. Likewise, job three. is 9 my friends so this is our cost table look like fine right so put this line like this and this one and here we write total cost in rupees right fine 9 5 9 plus 1 can 5 Sorry, 10, 15, 15 plus 4, 19 plus 2, 21. So the cost is 21, my friends. Right? Now, the last one is, we'll find out, the last one, determination of optimal job assignment. So this is what determination of optimal job assignment optimal job assignment okay fine we'll follow first one two three four and five one two one two a comma two two d comma three two E comma four two B comma five two C. This is our optimal job assignment, friends. So how to find out the total cost? It is similar as you already calculated in transportation problem. Likewise, you find out the total cost and the addition one here in case of the salary problem is. Optimal job assignments. So you go by rank one, two, three, four, five. It is called ascending order, friends. Right? This is all about Hungarian method procedure of assignment problem, my friends, or transshipment problem. So if you have any doubt, any query, feel free to comment in the comment section. Right? And if you have any management MBA students or engineering or MTech students. Please share this video with them so that they can easily understand such kind of such kind of complicated problems. So by this I conclude my talk. Thank you so much. Have a nice time. Have a good day. All the very best.